Hello, hello, hello. My name's Kurt. This is The Daily Draw. We are on Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we always draw something man-made, and I am glad that I'm here with you. And today, we are going to be drawing. It is Man-Made Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to draw this typewriter that I found. Um, and let me make sure it comes up here. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's see here now. Get There it is. Okay, great. How's everyone doing, doing today? You know, one thing, one thing I, I, really, I really like about the daily draw, and I know if you're here and you're seeing this, I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but uh, what I love about the daily draw is it guarantees me that I'm going to do a little drawing every single day. And if I don't have it, uh, then uh, then it just doesn't get done all the time. And so uh, this is this is what I believe. No, 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 it's not what I believe. I just know this is the fastest road to your success. In that, if you draw a little bit every day, it doesn't have to be huge, just a little bit. So that's that's really my aim with this ongoing class. So. With that being said, I am uh, live, so if you uh, have a question, by all means, just throw it into the chat. I will, I will catch it. But other, other than that, let's let's jump right into this. So uh, on Monday, we were looking at the perspective. We were using perspective to draw a bridge, and you know the strange thing about perspective is. It works on gigantic things like a stone bridge, and we also have it working in the small things like a typewriter, and there really isn't any difference. Same rules apply. So let's let me show you my if if I'm coming at this typewriter fresh, this is this is the approach I will take. Let me do that. I always look for the most, ex where are my most extreme angles, all right? So, for example, down here, here's here's the way, one, ex one edge of the typewriter. And then I don't really, can't see the top, but I do see this, this paper here. So that's, that's the other angle. You see that? And both, both of those converge. So let's, let's draw that. Let's start off by drawing those two angles. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, do this and keep these light and I'm gonna do this and I okay how's that look that looks pretty good those are my strong angles there next thing look at this now if I look at the this they used a fisheye lens on this so it kind of is it exploding a little bit, right? So the back edge, look at that. The back edge is like that, right? And here, this little edge, this little edge is, is like that. You could see it there. But then we also kind of have this, this angle. You see those, you see those three? Let's put those in as well. So let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna say, and this could be anywhere on your drawing, but I'm gonna use this little, corner there that's that's the corner there so let's get that angle just like that okay and then and then you know what halt halt right there don't don't draw anymore let's let's get the bottom part and what I mean by the bottom part here I'll show you let's let's establish this right here okay because that's gonna help us to build those other two verticals off of so what we're what we're looking here is look at look at this distance. That's that's the distance we're looking. So let's come over here and we're going to kind of all right. I'm right about there at the bottom. All right, let's let's get this angle here. Now, one thing I've already noticed right off the bat, let's see now. This This is a good distance, but but I need to extend this probably probably way down way down way down to there. You see that? So I'm going to erase this. Uh, I'm going to erase this one right there. 
I'm going to kind of redraw it. Redraw it down there at the bottom so we get that angle. So we go we go to the extremes there, right? Okay, so this so this orange this orange one is going to be right about there and we're going to maybe a little different angle there. Let's just kind of guesstimate that, okay? So we we have this angle. That's a good angle. We got this one and then this little guy is going to go just like that. Okay, so look at this. This is kind of a this this whole thing is at a middle angle. You see that right there? Let's kind of put that in as well. So that's just going to go almost right about there. And, and all we're doing is, is a lot of times when I'm drawing objects like this, I think of myself as a, uh, I'm carving a piece of wood. So if this was a solid piece of wood, what's the big shape? That's what I'm looking for. What's the big shape here? So look at this. We, we've kind of got this, that angle going. All right, we'll, we'll come back. We'll get the detail in a little bit. And then look at that. That is... Because of that fisheye, look at that, that's converging over there. So let's put both of those in. So that's gonna come in like this. And now I'm gonna put this one in this angle over here. You see, and it's in a slightly, it's converging. It's converging that way there, you see? You know, because this is a fisheye lens, you actually are getting three vanishing points. You you have this vanishing point back there. You have this vanishing point that's out in that direction. And then you have this vanishing point that's down below. A lot of times if, if you're Spider-Man and you're jumping around from building to building, you're going to get three vanishing points just like this. Okay, let's, let's come over here. Look at that, that little bit right there. So let's, let's kind of uh, roughly put that in. And then look at, this is a bit of an angle. You see that? That's a bit of an angle coming up there. So let's, let's put that angle in. Okay, we could we could just kind of follow from this this point here. We could go, we could kind of go across the back there a little bit. We'll we'll get more detail here once we get the overall big shape. It's kind of the thickness there, right? We're gonna to want to follow that same angle there and then and then drop it down like that <clears throat> now I'm going to come in here and just erase I'm going to erase some of these lines here
so we get a good idea what's going on. So there, right there, there's my, uh, there's my block of wood. Now we could, now we could go in here and start detailing this thing out. So, you know, in, in this, in this, uh, you know, in this top corner here, look at that. In fact, I'm going to just draw this. This, this has like this post here, right? So this is going to kind of come up a little bit. See, I've got all my things in place now. And then this is, this ruler thing is going to come across. And you, you can't see it, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm literally spinning my artboard you know so that I can go in this direction if I if I move my arm in this direction I'll get a nice straight line so feel feel free to uh, spin spin your drawing if, whether it's a drawing pad or whatever but for me I get the smoothest straight line if I go in this direction Okay, it has this other little bar. Look at that bar right there. So let's let's get that bar in, right? Sometimes another good line to practice doing is where you start your line and then you put a little dot of where where it's going to go and you just kind of let it you kind of let it uh, taper off and then throw a little dot and leave it I don't I don't connect those two I just put it in put a little dot there you see that not a big fan of hyper realism so a lot of times I'll just I like to get something that tells the story without going into a monster amount of detail that's just me you might be different you might like the hyper realism okay now look at this this is interesting look at look at this this has a knob here you know what that means Hmm. Hold on here. Okay, I think I think we're looking good. So we'll we'll get back to it here. Okay, so take a look at this. Take a look at this knob. They have this little knob here. They have this little knob here. So what we want to do, of course, is use that knob and draw a... Uh, we're going to use that because we're going to draw a uh, oval here. So just like, a, just like a wheel of a car, 
that's going to come right about there. So we want to draw kind of the axle. Actually, it's it's a little further back than that. Let me let me come all the way back here. Okay. All right, so that would be like a, an axle. So let me just go ahead and draw my oval. And there it is. And remember, when you draw ovals, you use the minor axis. It looks like an accordion. <laughs> A and B need to be reflective along the minor axis. So that's oh, we'll we'll get Jamie. We'll get it looking like a uh, we'll get it looking like a typewriter here. <laughs> that's right. Gotta love axles, man. They're everywhere. All right. So then we I'm gonna I'm gonna erase the center part of this. All right. All right. Then we've got that little interior knob. Look at that right there. I'm telling you, these things are everywhere. Okay, so then this is going to continue. Now we don't want to go too much further because our paper is going to be wrapping around that. Okay, let's let's come down here. Let's let's stick to this side here. And I this actually there's a piece of hardware that comes around. Like this. Let's put that in down here at the bottom. Then down below that, you could kind of see the edge, the framework of this typewriter. Maybe some people don't even know that this is a typewriter. They might think this is a 18th century torture device. <laughs> well, oh boy. All right, let's add some tone down here because this is definitely in shadow. Okay. All right, let's put this piece of paper in. This is going to help us a little bit. So let's let's look closely. Let's look at this here. This is where you're looking for relationships. This is This is where your paper is going to start. You see that? I put a little right that little dot right there and then Learned that on that, <laughs> on that style, and it was a toy. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh my man! I remember. I learned how to type in high school, and I remember they had a typing class filled with uh, filled with typewriters. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, now look at this. Wow. I've just I've just realized something. This is interesting. This is a, this is a, a little bit of a mistake that I've made. Um, look at my proportion is slightly off on the top there. So if you could, if you uh, let's see now. Let me see what I if I can fix this. No, it's definitely off. 
so I'm going to fake it a little bit. And if you could see, look at, look how close this, uh, look how close this blue, this is to this here. You see that relationship, but mine is too far back. So that's okay. Uh, because this, uh, 18th century torture device, nobody's going to no, no one's going to know what this is and we can get away with it. All right. So I'm just going to start right here and bring my piece of paper up like this. And then the top of it is also going to go back to this vanishing point. And then the bottom of that paper is also that you remember it's it's kind of wrapping around this cylinder, this rubber cylinder. Okay. Yeah, we Sharon, when you said that, that it just brought back those memories of these classrooms filled with IBM typewriters. And, you know, I can remember our high school teacher just teaching us. <laughs> and he would be in front there and, and say, okay, hit, hit, wait, hit H, 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 J, J, H, J, H, J. <laughs> Man, it, what a... What a guy to uh, be teaching high school students typing all day long, right? All right, so I'm going to come back over here. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here and add some mechanics Look, this piece kind of goes out front there, right? And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm not really that interested in getting this thing perfect. It's, it's the idea. All the, all the cute girls took typing. That was a good class to be in. problem is they were I mean they were all very good at it I was I remember I got a C in that class and my <laughs> my father said a C in typing <laughs> and I, I I just I didn't like it but but I learned how to use the keyboard I'll tell you that much <laughs> who, who gets a C in typing but dad I got an A in art ah, what's that gonna do for you <laughs> he didn't say that. He was always very, very supportive of my art career. So, <laughs> but it makes for a good story, right? Okay. So this, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> it's plain. It's plain. It's old paper moon. Okay. So, um, Look at this, look at this part here. Look at this, you see this? Oh, let me change the color here so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, look at that right there. That that right there is dead, that's gonna be dead center. So let's, let's find the center of the front end of this. And all I'm gonna do is just lightly draw an X. Okay, so there, there is the center of my typewriter. And, and just like if I had an X, a, a square that I was looking at straight on, if I want to find the, the center of that, I just connect the corners. And then that's the center of that square, just, just like, and that works for 
if a square was in perspective, look, here's a square going in perspective. It, same idea works. Do that cross and, and that's the center. So that's what we just did on this typewriter here. So with that being said, now I can now I could kind of get a much more idea of this uh, uh, part where the keys are coming out. And I'm 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 slightly stretching it on this side versus this side over here, okay? Slightly stretching it because it's in, uh, it's foreshortened. Okay. All right, we've got those T, those keys. Not really keys. I, I don't know. I don't know what they call the little, the letters that pop up. I don't, I'm not sure, but those are slightly angled up. But but these straight little arms, these are all going to go back to the vanishing point. So we could just do this sort of thing. There was a, I think there was a, I think there was a, somebody's mom invented liquid paper. I'm trying to think of what, I thought, I think that was an athlete maybe, maybe not. No, I can't think of who that was right now. Oh, I know. I know who it was. Uh, if you're familiar with the band called the Beatles, uh, um, uh, the Monkees, Peter Tork. I think it was Peter Tork, the bass player, who, <laughs> who was the one who broke up the B, broke up the monkeys. Um, his mom invented uh, um, paper, liquid paper. Strange, isn't that? You never know what you're gonna. You never know what you're gonna get. There's a completely a useless fact for you on this uh, <laughs> Tuesday afternoon. And if you don't know what liquid paper is, then that is. That's sad. <laughs> okay, let's get these keys in, okay? So let's let's go with let's look here. Let's get some little guideline there. There's half half along this edge and then come over here. That's that's a halfway point there. So the very lightly. Let's just we're going to create just a very light perspective grid. And then let's go to halves again here. And then up here, we'll go halves again up here. Okay, so this is uh, to get all these keys in properly, okay? Uh, I'm not going to draw them all because this would be just an exercise of frutility for me <laughs> it might even be for you unless this is a subject matter you absolutely just absolutely love but you can see what i'm doing here i'm just kind of just kind of guess this guesstimating the shapes of these keys i'm not really counting them at all just kind of keep keeping it loose here Just get the idea. That's all I want here.
and then they have those metal no no <laughs> they are far from that you know in in all truth though they they would be uh every if you want to do this thing perfectly sharon you know you're going to have act you're going to have act you're going to have minor axes that you're going to have to figure out on every single key here and those minor axes are slowly going to adjust from every key so uh <laughs> now try and just trying to get them as ovals i know you're just kidding but <laughs> very far from being perfect circles Okay, and then and then there's a, uh, a space bar. Look at that space bar is coming across here, just like this. <laughs> you like my method? Yeah, forget it. You know, we're just this is supposed to be fun. This is not supposed to be a uh, a tor <laughs> This is not drawing shouldn't be a torture device, right? even though it is just like just like this just like this is all right i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and drop in just a little bit of tone here in the front end of this all right there's a this little bar there's a little bar that comes out oops let me rethink this here oops all right little bar that comes down here i really i really you know, is there a place for realism? I mean, sure there is. And if if you're looking, people tend to, uh, you know, like look, you know, when someone does something so realistic, uh, people are like, "Ooh, ah!" I mean, it, it happens all the time. It's, but um, I I much rather see someone. I'd rather see someone, uh, a sketchiness, where I see the work of the artist. Like, like for example, you, you, could take a, you could take a painter like John Singer Sargent. And truly, that is not, he's not hyper-realistic by any means. But man, to, to look at his paintings and, and look at those brush strokes, that is... That to me is far more satisfying than looking at this hyper realistic drawing that someone may have done, you know? Jamie, you doing okay there? Okay, so then the last thing I want to do, because we are at 40 minutes here is I'm just going to come in here and kind of like fill in a silhouette. I don't even care about the mechanics down below here. I just, I'm just going to fill it in dark. Even, even up here, I'm just going to make this up. Oh, inter internet messed up. I'm sorry. Even down here, look at this. There's some other pieces of machinery that are popping out, and I I don't even care getting them exactly right. I just want to give an indication. All right. 
that's 40 minutes in everybody so uh, i think we're gonna call it we went we went way over time here As long as you get the, uh, you know, the key is to get that perspective in. If you get the general shape of perspective, then then you can, then you have a lot of leeway of, of letting your lines be a little bit looser. And it becomes just a far more interesting sketch, you see? All right, that's what we got for today. Boom, great job, everyone. Uh, post your work in Facebook. I'd love to see what you're doing. Tag me in it. Tag Say something about the daily draw and and uh, yeah, let's let's see how you did. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Have a great rest of your day. All right, Sharon, Jamie, who else? Pamela chimed in there. Yep. All right, you guys. See you later. Go make your day great.